Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with a how to get started on sending autographs through the mail video. I was given this request and I thought that's a really good idea because um, it took me quite a while to really get to where I'm at sending autographs through the mail. I've been sending autographs through the mail actively for over six years so I kind of have a little agenda in front of us. I'll show you some stuff and show you how I send cards through the mail and probably some other things that you may be wondering. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the uh, comment section. Maybe I'll make another video to address a lot of the questions if I get them. But my next video that I'm going to uh, post will show how I send magazines or photos through the mail, plus how I send baseballs through the mail. I've done a video on how to send baseballs through the mail, but this video here is kind of how, how to get started. And we're talking trading cards. So, what is TTM? What is TTM? That stands for through the mail. When I got started, I was a little kid. I thought it'd be really cool to send trading cards to athletes, uh, to the stadiums. And I was somewhat successful with that. I probably got about 40, 50 cards. But I was a little, little kid here. We're talking elementary. So, why I got started again... Well, I thought it'd be really cool to do this once again and send out autographs to players and former players and just have a little re interaction that way. Plus, I have a big autograph collection that, since I became an adult, have bought and acquired, personally, a lot of autographs. And I have a ton of cards, way too many cards, about 15 monster boxes full of cards, and that's after I've thrown away cards that just didn't mean anything to me so I thought let's go ahead and start sending cards out but on to the more important stuff how to find addresses so when I first started I would go to Google and in Google I would type and this is by the way not a very good way to do it like I would type Pittsburgh Pirates PNC Park and I would find the stadium address Yeah, I would find the stadium address and I would send in care of the player to the stadium. And that was not very successful. I'll show you that in just a little bit. So after doing that for a relatively short amount of time, I discovered Sports Card Forum, which is really good and it's free. I go to Sports Card Forum, a link for the uh, this address. You know, I'll put that in the description below. But you click on TTM Manager, and you can find addresses. I am not logged in, but I'm just going to type in the last name of a former TTM legend who is no longer with us, Bobby Durr. I'm typing in his last name. Sport is baseball. It is labeled as him no longer being with us. 97% rate, and the address is no longer display they don't display the addresses but the addresses would be displayed here it has the percent you know success at that particular address and you can just see all these people with successes and some with failures obviously because he had passed away but yeah before he had passed away you know lots of successes lots of successes at the date when they sent him out um, two out of two cards came back three out of three cards came back one baseball so that's a good place to go but it doesn't have as many addresses as sportscollectors.net. Now, I am not logged in. I will go ahead and log in. This one is by far, by far the better one to use here. I'm going to go ahead and log myself in. All right. Yeah, it's not even close. Like, which one's better? It's $15 a year. You know, it's if you can't afford fifteen dollars a year, then you probably should not be doing TTM because it costs a dollar ten to send a card out and back. So what's nice is look at this, just amazing. You know, this different types of options, players and teams. You can search by team. I'm going to search my. You know, all these different, by sport, you can do the team. So baseball, Pittsburgh Pirates. 
Look at that. Private signings. If you want to check out some private signings. Play it, latest signatures by mail. And um, I really don't want to be showing all the different addresses on here. You can do this on your own. But you can see these are successes. The dates. How many days it took for it to come back. Thank you to everybody who does update and post here. Sportscollectors.net is amazing. I'll just go to SIGs by mail and addresses. And you can click on a particular sport. Uh, you can search by last name for them. You can do searches for Hall of Famers, team addresses. It's so good. Let's see. Uh, let me go to Bobby Durr again for baseball. So I went to last name D. And you have a great database of who does and who does not sign, but the successes that have been posted by people. So I'll just go down to Bobby Durr. It is known that he's a Hall of Famer, and it's known that he is deceased, but this guy was an absolute legend. Sigs by mail. Obviously uh, not going to be very successful here. Lots of failures on account of him passing away, but... Um, You can see the addresses there. All right, in any case, so there you go. That is pretty good little um, way to find addresses. So, you know, please don't bug me for addresses. I'm just going to tell you that I found them on SCF or SCN. Document. Documenting. So I start out with a notebook, and I would document. Here's my very first one. I would send to stadiums, and you can see I sent to 20 people, and I had legitimate successes from, oh wait, that was, yeah, and I had legitimate successes, this was not my first one actually, my very first one was sent June 9th, 2014, 25 athletes, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Only 7 were successful, and the majority of those were sent to the Pittsburgh Pirates alumni address. You know, this was pretty much my last batch that I had sent with very minimal success, mostly to Pirates there. But, um, oops. you can see, look at the uh, jump in successes. This is when I first started to use SCF. Of the 20 people there, only only six of them were not successful. But yeah, when I document, I would write their name, whether it was a home address or something special like MLB Network and their zip code, I would mark down. All I did, and then I, then I end up graduating to marking down how many items I would send. So I would mark down like how many cards I would send because I would notice sometimes I would get less cards or more cards than what I sent out. So yeah, there's my notebook. So this is how I would document um, the people that I sent to. I would highly recommend documenting their name, how many items, uh, the zip code, if it's a home address or if it's something special like Petty Enterprises. Richard Petty is amazing. So yeah, I document my TTMs. The letter. The letter that I send out is very simple, so I made up a baseball player by the name of Sir Comfrance. Mr. Comfrance, congratulations on your nice baseball career. I hope you have a moment to sign my card. Thank you. Sincerely, Math Bowler. I recommend that you handwrite these. I put them on an index card because it adds a little bit of sturdiness to the overall envelope. I would not make this very lengthy. Usually mine's maybe one line longer than this. And this is a very, very generic letter that I'm writing here, but I don't want to make it too lengthy. And if you want to ask a question or two, go ahead. If they don't want to answer it, they don't answer it. So that's my little letter. The envelopes. Well, obviously, when you send it out, your name and address up here, because you will get return to senders. So there you write the name of the athlete's address. And then your return envelope... So that's like your standard envelope. Then I use a smaller envelope. This is like your uh, six and three quarter envelope. So you just put your name and address on the return. And don't forget stamps. Oh my goodness, obviously. I would not recommend writing the athlete's name or anything up here. If you want to write the return address, okay. But don't like don't write down 
Andrew McCutcheon. Don't write down the names because that just draws unwanted attention. And inside your return address, I always put an index card. It adds some strength to your return. You know, less likely that it gets a little bit less likely it gets beat up. And I also put the card. So here's Mr. Sir Comference. I would put him in this envelope, but don't seal it. Don't seal it. Put your letter. And then put the whole thing inside your envelope, seal it up, and you are good to go. So, yes. Donation, or uh, yeah, so the index card is very important, and sometimes they do sign it. Donations. If they want donations, please do no, please do a donation. If you think you send to the person too many times, do a donation. But make sure you use these security envelopes so that's not as obvious that you have money in there. And here's just a few do not do's. I'm going to wrap this up here. Please do not send too many cards. Your greed hurts those of us with serious TTM ambitions. You greedy people who send out way too many, shame on you. If I send more than four, it's because I'm sending a donation. If I do send out four and it's been done to multiple times to a player, I'll send a donation anyway. Uh, which leads into the next thing. Do not send too often. I have been bit by this. I might send to a player two times a year. And if it's somebody with really good return rates, I might send it three or four times a year, but I'll include a donation. But even if you include a donation and send too often, the athlete might get tired of it. I have sent $10 donation and some cards to Andy Russell and never got it back. I had sent a donation with some cards to Rocky Blyer and not gotten it back, probably because they recognize the name and address. Please do not do this for resale. You really, really hurt this business, this, uh, not business. When you make it a business, you end up hurting everybody. And uh, do not use multiple addresses. I know way too many people who do, but once again, you run the risk of hurting this for everybody. And just a quick plug for past pros. They're really good people. If you ever want to send out that way. Um, also, use Facebook groups for great resources, and the autograph card is also amazing if you don't have cards. Please feel free to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, everybody.